we've got a very special guest with us today, Mr. Jonathan Herzog. Did I say that name correctly? Got it. Uh, Want to introduce yourself? Give us a little bit of background. Have me for all for all you're doing. I love the love the backdrop. I got to get myself one of those. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm I'm Jonathan. Um, born and raised in New York, and um, joined the Yang Gang um, back last year when I moved out to Iowa um, for Andrew uh, to help out with the campaign out there. Um, and now running on the Yang Gang agenda in New York's 10th district which is the west side of Manhattan and South Brooklyn. And that's where we're at right now. <laughs> so you were actually with the Andrew Yang campaign before all of this, right? Yeah. So the um, madness was, um, gosh, it seems like forever ago, but last year, basically a year ago, um, Pre, pre Rogan, um, you know, pre all the <laughs> awesomeness that is the campaign now, um, <laughs> there was just, uh, there was just a handful of us. Um, and I was just kind of driving around the state of Iowa as so many awesome Yang Yang are just doing now. Um, it's some beat in the drum and it's just been so awesome to see it grow and grow and grow and grow. And we're going to be taking it all the way. Cause let me tell you from where we were, were to where where we're at now compared to where we have to be in order to win we've we've really done the <laughs> the hardest the hardest parts of the marathon and so we can really seal the deal in the coming days and weeks really you know that's so crazy that you say that because I, you know i consider myself to be an og yang gang member yeah okay. you know, I, i've been i've been around and you got the you got the hat they got the swag <laughs> you know, but to to actually be a part of the, this whole thing when it was the pre Rogan days, because now I'm I'm a Rogan child, so <laughs> that's where I came in, and you know and you know his message resonated so much with us that we we knew that we had to do everything that we could to get him elected, and it's yeah. so crazy that that you were there even before all of that working on his campaign and he's inspired you so much that you, you feel like you've got to do it too. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I love what you guys are doing. It is so fun and just so awesome and moving when I see like there was that, that times piece that came out about you and just those, those videos and clips here and there. And I see you guys all over New Hampshire um, and really all across the country. And it's just so amazing because I can only imagine the kind of, um, you know, feedback and comments you hear from people being like, wait, what? You're here? Like, you supported Trump and now you're supporting Yang? And that's just such powerful, you know, first case evidence that people can only theorize about. And when they eat you flesh, like, that, that is, you know, goes go kind of leaps and bounds um, beyond what anyone can kind of read about. Um, and so it's just been so inspiring because, you know, you and just really everyone at every turn I saw this tweet recently. It was like, Andrew inspires his fans to become fanatical. And in my mind, I'm like, I don't think we're fanatical. I think we're just like actually hyper reasonable and just see this glimmer of opportunity and hope and are like, we got to do all we can because this doesn't come, you know, this is like a once in a generation type moment. So it's just so awesome to see how everyone lands on it in their own way, in their own time um, in their own place. Um, but really everyone's just doing all they can and putting themselves out there. So it's, it's been a journey and we're really just getting started <laughs> with, you know, the two and a half months left till the big days. Yeah. And I, I, I kind of feel like after the, the debates the other night and then the fallout from all of that with him calling out MSNBC for their, how, how great is that? I mean, that, that's going to be one of these moments, though, that we're going to look back and we're going to be like, OK, this was a turning point for us because now the media can't ignore him anymore because now he's caught MSNBC out and everybody's picked up on it. And now the Yang Gang has caused so much attention to be drawn to it because we're so pissed off that they're doing this. You know, I, I feel like this is going to be our major turn, a turning point for us. 
and it's it's pretty awesome to see. It's like you said, man. And it, I really feel like the reason that we all latch on to it is because most of us just want better for humanity. Most of us just want better for our neighbors. Most of us just want to be able to make it. And, you know, most of us just want to be. We don't want to fight. We don't want to argue. We don't, you know, we don't want none of that stuff. And so this guy named Andrew Yang comes along and he puts forth this vision saying, hey, you know what? We can do better. And when you actually take the time and you see that and you dissect it, you're like, holy crap, we can do better. So why aren't we doing better? <laughs> and that's one reason that the Yang Gang is so passionate. They literally have latched on to the humanity first concept. And that's the concept that, that we want for us, for our kids, for this country. You know, we, we don't want any more division. We don't want to be arguing just because somebody's a different color or somebody likes this or somebody likes that. Who the fuck cares? Like, none of that matters. You know right. what does matter? You you matter. Your family matters. Your kids matter. Your mom matters. Your dad matters. These are what matters to most Americans. Yeah. So, oh, I, I mean, go ahead and take it from there, man. I just, you know, <laughs> I go on a rant, man, and I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I love it. And it, it's so... Um, simple in in some ways but it's also just like simultaneously so radical right you're like it's like the idea that a we can do better for ourselves and b that we don't have to be at each other's throats and like we can actually rise is just this like incredibly profound thing because all these institutions and systems and incentives kind of derange us to think that there's only this one way. <laughs> there's only this one way of operating where if I win, you lose, I lose. Um, and we're like, nope, we're actually going to kind of sidestep that entire model, that entire system of being and a different model. <laughs> so I, I agree with you. I want to talk for a second about your campaign that you're running, um, you see how incredibly important it is that we have people on a local level and in local governments that are promoting the same ideas that Andrew Yang is promoting. And for instance, you know, like Dr. Jermaine Johnson and Michael Kim and yourself, you know, and so many others who are now latching onto this idea. But Talk for a moment about the challenges that you face personally with your campaign. Yeah, and I think, you know, you, you kind of hit the nail on the head, which is part of part of my goal was, uh, part of the goal of people running is to just open up um, the realm of possibility and be like, hey, you're a gang gang, you're in a, a district anywhere across the country, and, you know, maybe you're not thrilled with your representation and you you think that this vision would be a better alternative. You too can run. There's there's nothing stopping anyone. Um, and it's just so awesome now because, as you said, there's there's now dozens of people who are running in all types of, who are latching onto that vision and claiming it as their own. And that's that's awesome. Um, that said, like you know, at every turn, I have to you know, and look, we have to always kind of like keep our eye on the prize, and that is you know, um, getting Andrew in first. And if we can sit along with that, awesome. Like that, that'd be fantastic. Um, but I think that's, you know, that's obviously always the kind of North star, uh, because if we have the now, um, where if you think about what it would take to really get Andrew in, you know, when he's the nominee, when he beats Trump, that's like tens of our, <laughs> like you know fellow citizens getting around this vision and sending him like what's so rare about his candidacy in you know things is that most people even when they win the white house they actually haven't even run on a policy platform they don't have a mandate once they get into office they can be stonewalled by let's say a congress that disagrees with them or even members of their own party because they're, they're their path to the White House 
was on like centered around themselves and their personality and their their whole story um kind of a long-winded way of saying like yes there's a lot of you know complexity and kind of barriers and bureaucracy and money really does clog the whole bottom on up um and you see that very clearly <laughs> um but it's like we always got to reach for the best shot that we have to really get this across and that's andrew because as you said we are at this turning point where you know call them out <laughs> which is just tremendous and i think is, is going to empower more people um to just kind of speak truth to that power now on a, in your campaign yeah i was i was looking on twitter and there was a lady i can't remember she was running for something and she she put out a tweet and she said something to the effect of listen if i can't raise you know five thousand yeah. dollars in the next couple of weeks then i have to fold up my campaign and i'm just gonna have to assume that personal debt i mean that's a very very real thing that she's having to deal with trying to run yeah. on a local level and and that's got to be like really hard because now she's considering having to not only fold up her campaign but assume the debt as personal debt I mean, that's that's yeah. how real this is for, especially for y'all on a local level. So, it, if somebody wanted to help donate to your campaign or something, how would they do that? Yeah, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's so it's just herzog twenty twenty dot com, um, h e r z o g twenty twenty, um, and thank you. Yeah, I mean, you you really get it, and you see the kind of calls to action out there. Uh, um, cause <laughs> you know, we, yeah, we're, we're definitely up, um, against a lot of money, you know, the bottom, um, that wants certain, certain opinions and certain policies to be voiced, um, which is why it's so surreal able to, you know, fuel Andrew's campaign with, you know, punching so far above our weight, but just powered by like here or there so if, if, okay like what are your immediate needs like right where you're at you're talking to the yang gang you know if you could tell them something like what would you tell them? i mean i guess um so i have the sort of immediate you know kind of selfish news in my own campaign but i have to look at it big picture to be honest with you and and so every dollar, every ounce of like marginal like, effort and passion and love and all of that, like it has to be set to, you know, every, every cent, like we need to hit that 30 million Q4 and really like send this rocket ship all the way because like, yeah, so to have, you know, local representatives and members of Congress, and they can certainly make a lot of noise as we've seen, you know, in the 2018 cycle, don't get me wrong. Like that's a lot, but we have a shot to, to send this all the way. And so I don't want to, you know, take away at this moment from anything, any, you know, money, volunteer effort, um, from, from, from the kind of big dog in the race that we, you know, we can actually make someone was, was posting about, um, where, where like John Kerry was in December of Oh three, where he was like at four percent to win the Iowa caucus and the nomination. Um, so I know this is kind of like um, not directly answering the question, but I but I do think like in the, the best way to help me, to help us, to help you is to like allocate all of our time, energy, resources towards our best shot. Um, and that's Andrew. Yang gang, I don't know if y'all just caught what this man said, but that was... To me, it, it was incredibly beautiful. And I want to thank you for that because what you basically just said to me was, you know, nothing else matters except Andrew Yang. He's all that matters. That's kind of true. <laughs> and, and, and you, you're right. You're right. He is all that matters. 
But the fact that you are so selfless about it was what really just impressed me right then. Because you realize that that's, that's our shot. This is a once in a lifetime candidate and we can't screw this up. So every available thing that you can do has to be done for the, for the big dog. Yeah. But there are those Yang Gang members out there who will see this, who have maybe donated their limit to the campaign and can't donate anymore and would still like to help out. So if y'all are out there and y'all are hearing this and you have donated your limit and you can help this gentleman out, y'all, we got to have it on the local level too. So make sure that you get in there and donate if you can, because he's, he's trying to be the voice on a local level, just like Dr. Jermaine Johnson, our good friend. And we need people like this backing the big dog. So if y'all are out there and y'all are listening and y'all can donate, please donate to this gentleman. So Jonathan, I want to thank you so much for your time. Give out your website one more time where people can donate to you. Yeah, it's um, Herzog2020.com. Um, I just want to thank you so much. Um, I know you guys have sacrificed so much yourselves um, and, you know, on your journeys across the country and, um, you know, documenting it for us so we can be there with you when we, when we can't improve and making the case because, you know, it, it truly is. Um, and a lot of times, like, we get so much uh, um, smoke blown up our ass by all the rhetoric around, like, grassroots campaigns and all the rhetoric around like campaigns of by for the people it just becomes so trite that you're just like oh it just kind of goes over your head but then you actually see this campaign and you're like this campaign would be nowhere without people like you <laughs> like real people who are driving it at every single turn um and so so it's interesting because like the the kind of rhetoric and language are oh um usurped by certain forces <laughs> um that it's just so beautiful and rare to see it um in reality like real people who really care who are like this is our shot and we're coming together around it so just you know thank you for that not a problem brother listen we thank you for being here gang gang if y'all enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and let's help get this man elected if we can so we love you, Yang Yang, and we will see you on the next one. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Bet you didn't know you were going to see us at the end, did you? What's up, Yang Yang? So we got a couple things that we want to get into real quick before we get out of here. We hope you enjoyed that video with Jonathan. He's an amazing dude. And, you know, anybody that puts the Andrew Yang campaign before his own campaign, you know, that says a lot about that person. So we just want to, you know, huge shout outs to him. Good, good people. Thank you for being on the show, Jonathan. And real quick, we need to talk about Patreons. Shout outs to y'all. This is our new one here. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. Ding that bell. Please donate if you can. We're having some some car issues, some vehicle issues. And it's, it's we're but we're about halfway home, I think, on the Vermont Signatures. Getting, you know, we're getting close. Yeah. Getting close, y'all. We got to have these signatures. Mommy. So. Yes, and if you, like he said, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. So, real quick, quick we want to talk about the new website. Yangdaily10.com. And I'll put the link down there. And it's, yeah, and I'll put it up on the screen, too. But, basically, all of the Yang Gang will be given a 10-minute task that you can do each day. And it's real ways to help get Andrew Yang elected. Grassroots, y'all. Grassroots Yang Gang style. You know how we do around here. And this is a way that we can all get organized and we can all start doing this in, you know, in a fashion that's going to get the most results. Did y'all see that sign? Now look. It's one of the OG signs. That's one of the OG signs. <laughs> that's back when they forgot to print them on both sides. Yep. That's good stuff. Live and learn with the campaign. Yep. Q4 donations, y'all. These Q4 donations are looking kind of weak. We got to raise $2 million before the end of November. Mm -hmm. This is so very important. If we can't raise $2 million by the end of November, how the hell are we going to raise $30 million in Q4? 
But listen yeah. to this, Yang Gang. And I'm talking to all y'all broke folk vote people out there. There are people do- literally donating plasma so that they can donate to this campaign. It's that important. If we raise $30 million in Q4, we win. We win, Yang Gang. For sure. Think about that. Think about that. We win if we raise $30 million. We put $30 million in Andrew Yang's hands, we're going to win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are going to win. That's right. I don't know if you could hear that. That's so we right. love you, Yang Gang. Let's do this. Let's go all the way to the White House. See you on the next one. Links are below. Perfect solution. I heard you've been losing. Be sure to be nervous. Like certainly choosing. He's certainly proving and curving and cruising through everything. Throwing at him, serving the truth. Hey, but trickle up. Hey, yeah, gang standing up. Hey, playing James on a bus. Man, John Doe know it's us. Yummy, 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 yummy.